As your eyes lock onto the hulking monstrosity before you, a chill runs down your spine. Its grotesque form, an aberration against nature itself, looms ominously in the dim light. The creature's massive, bulbous body hovers, underpinned by countless long tendrils, each tipped with a singular menacing eye that seems to pierce through you. The central eye, even more monstrous, stares unblinkingly, an abyss of rot and decay that churns your stomach. The room is filled with an oppressive silence, the calm before a tempest. You can taste the dread in the air, a tangy reminder of the impending onslaught. There's no time left to strategize, to prepare. The moment of reckoning is upon you. And so, with your hearts pounding in your chests, echoing to the drumbeat of battle, I must ask you all to roll for initiative. Incredible. That's a natural two for me, Joe. So five total. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's a five for me as well, Joe. Three plus two. I hope you guys aren't setting the precedent for this fight. Yes, that's an 18 total. Don't you worry about us, Celestia. We will turn up the heat where it counts. I think it would be fair to say, after what you just pulled, I'm less worried for you in general and more concerned about your cognitive capacity. That's a tainted 20, Joe. Stop calling it that. How about you stop telling him that his fun is wrong, Saxy? Please never call me Saxy again. Hush, Saxy. Let's get this combat going. For fuck's sake. The zombie beholder rolled a total of 19, so it's Rar up first. Let me at him! Jesus, dude, why the fuck are you screaming? Because I would like to rage. Fuck it up, Rar. Now I'm going to charge towards the meatball and take a swing at it with a reckless attack. It's not a fucking meatball, dude. Wrong. It is, in fact, both meaty and bally. Oh, my God. Make an attack roll with advantage for me, dude. That's a 19 to hit, Joe. With your rage-filled heart pounding in your chest, you barrel towards the monstrous beholder. Your great axe, a streak of deadly silver, arcs in a formidable swing that echoes your raw defiance against the undead abomination. Roll your damage. That's 15 total damage, Joe. Beautiful. Now it's the beholder's turn. As the tension in the room escalates, one of the beholder's eyes takes on a fiery glow. In a sudden blaze of action, it unleashes a quartet of blistering rays, each one seeking out a different target among your party. That's a 15 on Tronald, a 9 on Celestia, a 17 on Rar, and a 7 on Saxiron. I'm gonna use shield against that guy. That misses me. Yeah, it misses me too. Damn it, that hits me. As you leave yourself open in your reckless charge, the scorching ray seizes the opportunity, slamming into your chest. The sudden heat sears your clothing, wrapping you momentarily in a cloak of hungry flames. That's nine points of damage. No, Joe, it's halved because of my totem path. Damn, of course, good shit for remembering that and being clued up on your abilities. You've already come a long way, Rar, it's impressive. So that's four points of fire damage instead. Now it's time for its second eye attack. Rar, suddenly another eye illuminates with ominous intent. A beam shoots forth, striking you squarely. You feel a chilling drain, a siphoning of your very life essence. This is the dreaded enervation ray in action. I'm going to need a constitution saving throw from you. Fuck me, that's a natural one, Joe. It's still halved though, right? Yeah, as long as my rage is up, any damage source aside from psychic is halved. Awesome. So that would have been 21 points of damage, but instead you take 10 points of necrotic damage. Damn, Rar, that's so beautiful it nearly brought a tear to my eye. You're becoming the man you was born to be. All right, Celestia, you're up. Okay, Joe, so I'm going to upcast Bless to level two, making sure to get the whole group. Incredible. Then I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Healing Word on Rar. That's a three, so you heal seven HP total, dude. Hoisting your blessed shield aloft, a radiant surge of light bursts forth, morphing into four luminous tendrils. These ethereal strands dance through the air, intertwining with each of you. Imbued with this holy favor, you all gain a blessing, a divine right to roll an extra d4 on your attacks or saving throws. Saxiron, you're up. I move over here and cast Fairy Fire on the Beholder. Excellent, it rolled a 12. With a swift motion, you jerk your arm upwards, triggering the well-known device. A tiny pellet ejects, soaring towards the beholder where it strikes and bursts into a nebulous cloud of otherworldly smoke. The smoke clings to the beholder, outlining its form in luminescence. Everyone now has advantage on their attacks against the creature. Nice work, Saxy. All right, now it's your turn, Tronald. Okay, first I back the hell up, then I want to cast Maximilian's Earthen Grasp on the meatball. Nice, remind me what save that is again? It's a strength saving throw, Joe. Wow, an author and a poet. Damn, dude, unlucky. That's a natural 20 for its save. Joe, in what reality would you assume I'd let this spell fail? Right, of course. What are you going to use then? Lucky or portent? Neither, Joe. Oh my god, don't tell me. I'm going to use silvery barbs as my reaction, then give myself the advantage. Not like it's needed, though, because of Saxiron's fairies. Seriously, dude? You're a literal cheese machine. Huh? Where is this cheese machine you speak of? I stand before you, the grand embodiment of the mighty cheese, a force unmatched and relentless in its churn. All right, then. Well, I guess I'm re-rolling that. Well, that's now an eight. So what damage and effects does it do, Tronald? 
That's eight points of damage, and it's restrained. That was some nice work, dude. Now it's your turn, Rar. Well, I guess I'll just make a normal attack, seeing as it's already got two advantages stacked against it. That's not great. I rolled a 14 total, Joe. Don't forget your bless, buddy. Ooh, of course. What dice do I roll for that, Celestia? It's a D4. That's a three, so 17 total. Yeah, you hit it, dude. Its AC is 15, so you could have literally rolled anything. And that's 11 points of damage. With a surge of strength, your great axe rends through the beholder's decayed flesh. The weapon carves a deep gash into its form, causing a nauseating torrent of pus and ichor to seep out. The creature's injury amplifies the already unbearable stench, filling the air with an even more repugnant miasma. Now it's back to the beholder's turn. The two rays it's rolled for are a disintegration ray and a telekinetic ray. For fuck's sake. For the telekinetic ray, it's gonna fire it towards you, Rar, in an attempt to get you out of its face. I'm gonna need you to roll a strength saving throw, dude. Huh. What's funny, Tronald? It's just that the silly old meatball is using an ability for a strength saving throw on the guy with plus six to his roll, and he has advantage. Dude, it's a frickin' zombie. If this was the real deal, it would be out strategizing even you, Tronald. I highly doubt that. Oh wow, my best roll was a six. Oh boy. Never mind, that's a four from the bless, so that's 16 total. Never doubted you for a second. Yeah, so with a 16 you pass, now it's going to use its disintegration ray on Saxeron. Fuck me. This is intense. Roll a dexterity saving throw for me. Come on, dice. Oh, uh, that's a 10 total, Joe, even with the bless. I'll use my portent 13 on that saving throw, Joe. Jeez, thank you, man. That brings me to 16 plus a 2 from the bless, so 18 total. Damn, what a save by Tronald. That would have been bad for you, Saxeron. I owe you one there, Tronald. Don't sweat it, dude. We're a team. We look out for each other. All right, Celestia, it's your turn. Okay, so I'm going to move here and then cast Scorching Ray at it. Each one of these shots have advantage. So with the blesses included, that's a 26, an 18, and a tainted 20. Jesus, all of them hit. How much damage do you do? That's 22 points of fire damage total, Joe. Celestia, as you hoist your shield high, a radiant pulse of energy cascades from it. From this radiance, three incandescent rays erupt, gracefully arcing around Rar in a display of controlled power. Each flaming beam finds its mark, piercing the beholder's grotesque central eye with unerring precision. Upon impact, the monstrosity releases a horrifying, gut-wrenching shriek. Oh, fucking incredible work, Celestia. I'm not gonna lie, guys, this thing is looking rough. Awesome. To be honest with you, I I can't believe how well you're fucking it up, and I'm not even mad. See, I knew we had this in the bag, guys. Don't speak too soon, Tronald. Anything could happen. All right, Saxeron, you're up. I activate my Ring of the Dragon with my bonus action, which I created from my Replicate Magic Item infusion. Then I take a shot at it using my wrist-mounted mini pistol. Awesome, dude. Roll to hit. That's an 18 total, Joe. But then I minus two from that because of my ring, so that's a 16. A 16 still hits, my man. Roll that damage. That's eight points of piercing damage, plus three points of fire damage. With your arm poised and ready, you aim your wrist-mounted firearm at the monstrous beholder. Suddenly, the ring on your finger sparks to life, a surge of arcane energy coursing up your arm to infuse the weapon. As you squeeze the trigger, a bullet propels forward, igniting in a spectacular blaze mid-flight. This flaming projectile tears through the beholder's repulsive flesh, searing its decaying flesh. That's quite the ability there, Saxy. I can see it now. We will create some glorious things together. Tronald, you're up. What you doing? I'm gonna squeeze the big meatball with my earthen grasp again, Joe. That's a 17 on its saving throw. Two words, buddy. Silvery barbs. Oh, come on, man. That's a fucking nine. And that's fucking eight points of damage. Brilliant job, Tronald. You're really grating at Joe. Look, I see what you tried to do there, but I just want you to know it was shit. Oh, fuck off, Rar. You wouldn't know a good pun if it slapped you in the face. Okay, it's back to you, Rar. I'm gonna smash it in its fucking eye with my great axe. That's a 26 to hit. Fucking incredible, of course that hits. Roll your damage, dude. That's 17 points of damage. Incredible work, Rar. You're really on the ball today. Haha, -ha, now that was a fucking funny pun. You should really leave the jokes to Tronald in future, Saxy. Oh, shut the fuck up, you brown-nosing bastard. If you were any further up his ass, it would look like Tronald was a fucking xenomorph with a half-orc as his tongue. What the fuck did you just say? Uh-oh. Fight, fight, fight. Look, I'm sorry, Rar. It just got me back. Silence. Saxiron. That was probably the first time I've respected you to this degree since the day we met. Keep up the good work. Wow. Earning Rar's admiration is truly a feat of high prestige. Not many can boast of such an honor. All right, guys, back to the fight. Rar, your mighty great axe ascends, poised for a fierce strike. With a roaring descent, you cleave into the beholder, sending it quaking in agony. The monstrosity is teetering on the precipice of demise, but now it is the beholder's moment to retaliate. Here we go. The first thing that transpires is the invocation of its necrotic recovery feature, employed as a bonus action. 
eerie tendrils of necrotic energy emerge from it, hungrily reaching out to anything touched by death or decay, siphoning the dark energy from these sources. As it draws this life-draining power back into its decaying form, it mends its wounds, restoring a staggering 27 hit points. God damn it, Joe. How much have you modded this thing exactly? Next, the behemoth focuses its deadly gaze, splitting its attention between Tronald and Rar. Towards you, Tronald, the beholder's eye pulses, preparing to unleash the devastating disintegration ray. Simultaneously, it turns its other eyes on you, Rar, charging up its scorching ray where it plans to direct all four fiery beams your way. Excellent. I'm going to need you to make a dexterity saving throw, Tronald. Oof, that's a 12 total with bless. But I'm going to use a lucky on that, Joe. That's now a 17 total. Nice, dude. With a 17, you succeed and take no damage. Now for its scorching rays. With disadvantage, that's a 16, a 3, an 11, and another 16. Only two of them hit me, Joe. Nice, dude. So that's 14 points of fire damage. Reduced to 7 because of my rage, Joe. Nice one, dude. Damn, the bear totem path is so freaking sweet. It's wild, dude. Now it's your turn, Celestia. What you doing? Firstly, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Healing Word on Rar. So that's 7 points of healing to you, buddy. Then I'm going to run up to the Beholder and cast Inflict Wounds on it. That's a 19 total to hit, Joe. Nice work, Celestia. That hits. How much damage do you do? That's 22 points of necrotic damage. Wait, wouldn't that mean that the damage is half? No, Rar. Whilst it is an undead and necrotic being in nature, this doesn't automatically give it resistances to necrotic damage. That's unless Joe's pulled some bullshit and given it even more buffs we don't know about yet. No, it does full damage. I didn't want to make it too powerful for you guys. Joe, it was too powerful in its base form. The only reason we're managing is because of the cheese machine and some lucky-ass rolls. Hmm, well, we will have to agree to disagree there. This makes me incredibly concerned for any future combat. Anyway, it's your turn, Saxiron. Okay, so how rough is it looking, Joe? Well, if it wasn't already dead, I'd say it's looking on death's door. Okay, so I'm going to need to do a high amount of damage to try and ensure that it doesn't pass its undead fortitude roll. Hmm, I've got an idea. Joe, I reach onto my side and detach a medium-sized pouch before I launch it directly over the beholder's head. Now, as soon as it reaches its optimum height, I'm gonna shoot the bag with my arm-mounted pistol. Um, okay. So roll an attack roll for me to see if you can hit the bag. Don't worry, though, it's not a high roll. That's a 14, plus a four from the bless. Okay, dude, so you shoot the bag and it rips open. What exactly is inside of it? I don't understand what could be in there that could do any damage. Maybe it's some sand, Rar. So as the bag rips, 500 pounds worth of cannonballs explode from inside of it, raining down on the beholder's head. Holy moly. Fucking incredible. I didn't know where you was going with that, but that's awesome, dude. Roll a D100 for me, Saxiron. That's a 67, Joe. Amazing, so I'm gonna give you 76 damage for that, as some of the cannonballs seem to miss, but the majority hit their mark. Um, that's 25 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, it failed its undead fortitude roll. Saxiron, how do you wanna do this? I want all of the cannonballs to impact the beholder so hard that it falls back into the shadowy chasm from whence it came. In a jaw-dropping spectacle, the bag of holding rips, releasing a storm of iron cannonballs that plummet with relentless force onto the monstrous beholder. Each metallic sphere that strikes is met with a grotesque squelch as it embeds itself deep within the creature's rotten tissue. This relentless hail of iron continues, each strike a percussive testament to the creature's dwindling vitality. Finally, as the barrage concludes, the behemoth's strength is utterly spent. With one final gruesome sound it collapses its lifeless form tumbling back into the gloomy pit from whence it came hey guys i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did smash everything the bell the subscribe your monitor even your cat if you've got one jesus gordon i'm not too sure how they did so well against that thing i guess i'll just need to up my game next time oh for fuck's sake but thanks for joining us guys and we'll see you next week you're all amazing